Hello VIEWRS through this video we will learn regarding concept of superstructure in building construction. The concept is very important in civil engineering. The same was explained in very systematic manner. If you like it please do share the video and subscribe the channel. The figure shows the major building parts. Waterproofing membranes. Materials. Liquid or sheet, plastic, asphaltic, synthetic rubber. Coatings, asphaltic. Cementitious plasters and admixtures. Bentonite clay. Accessories. Protection board. Water stop. The figure shows concept of damp proofing. Parts of structure. Types of loads. Dead load. IS 875 Part 1 Live Load, IS 875 Part 2 Wind Load, IS 875 Part 3 Snow Load, IS 875 Part 4 Earthquake, IS 1893 Special Loads and Load Combinations, IS 875 Part 5 Unit weights of common building materials. As per IS 1911 to 1967. Dead load, IS 875 Part 1. Some type of loads due to self weight are deterministic. It is defined as the force whose magnitude, position, and direction remain constant. X, walls, columns, floors, roofs, stairs, etc. It is determined by equals volume asterisk density. Live load, IS 875 part 2. Some deterministic but may change with time. People come and go, it might vary within a day, month, year, no of people coming may change. Some theaters change to shopping malls or change of shops in malls, banks, or car showrooms, etc., it changes with time. Reduction factor, live loads, in the design of multi-stories building. Minimum live load per square meter of floor area as per static UDLs. IS 875-1964. Wind load, IS 875 part 3. Some loads are uncertain, transitory in nature x, earthquake loads, wind loads. Dynamic transitory. We can assume values not a fixed value. Wind obtained on structure equals wind presure. P equals KV2. P equals equivalent static pressure in kg slash M2. V equals wind velocity in kmph. K equals coefficient which depends on wind velocity. Earthquake load, IS 1893. Earthquake waves may reach in any direction and for design purposes it has to be resolved in vertical and horizontal components. Magnitude of earthquake force equals W asterisk alpha slash G. Alpha equals acceleration due to earthquake adopted historical available data, zonal data. W equals weight of structure. G dash equals gravitational acceleration. Now see photographs of types of structures. There are three types of structures as below. One load bearing structure. Two framed structure. Three composite structure. Now see photographs of types of structures. There are three types of structures as below. One load bearing structure. Two framed structure. Three composite structure. Now see photographs of types of structures. There are three types of structures as below. One load bearing structure. Two framed structure. Three composite structure. Now see difference between load bearing structure and framed structure. Now see photographs of types of structures. There are three types of structures as below. One load bearing structure. Two framed structure. Three composite structure. Ashler masonry, 
chisel dress to obtain fairly smooth surface, rectangular in shape stone used in external walls of important buildings. Rubble masonry irregular, uncut stone used in less important structure. Dry rubble masonry. Dry rubble masonry. Coarse random rubble masonry. Stones used are of 5 cm to 20 cm size. Each course equal height, stones of different size used in low height walls. Uncoursed random rubble masonry. This is cheapest stone masonry. This pattern is made from stones of different shapes and sizes directly from quarry, the stones are arranged carefully to distribute the load. Mosaic. Like the mosaics of ancient Rome, this is a pattern of different stones that fit together very well. Random Ashlar Masonry This pattern is made of cut stones that fit together, but are not in rows. Combined Masonry with Ashlar Fine Tooled Thanks for watching the video if you like if please do share it and subscribe the channel. Have a nice and good life to you all.